three words is tough, I'll go with Motormouth, Prankster and Legend. I met Doddy at the border, so he came from Newcastle um, when the Borders professional rugby outfit opened. Um, so him and Gary Armstrong, George Graham and the likes uh, from Newcastle came down there. So he was almost my mentor. He took me under his wing when he first arrived. So Doddy was always a legend within Scotland and especially the Borders. Um, so it was great to have him teach me little things, especially being in the same position, we were both quite thin. Um, he did, he used to give me boots, trainers and stuff, so he did, he, did, he looked after me, he, he told me, he t gave me tips, he took me under his wing basically and developed my game um, going forward, so he was, he was a massive influence within my, my rugby career. I remember once, it was not gym related, but it was cardio stuff, and he, they would um, go out bike runs around the borders, it was meant to take an hour, an hour and 20, and him and Gary would bike to the lo local, um, greasy cafe and have a bacon roll and a cup of coffee and then splash yourselves with water and then cycle back an hour later so that, that was kind of their mindset at that stage of their, their careers but it was um, it was all good fun and they were good blokes. Yeah, mate, without, without a doubt, I've always gotten well with him, I've always kept in touch with him. Um, we had a Borders reunion actually um, in June I think this year so it was great to catch up on there. Um, obviously with, with his horrible disease going on but he's still got the same crack as what he always had. Um, when I, when I was there, he was like, Scotty, go and get me a dram. Wouldn't he get me a dram? So I went and got him a dram and handed it to him. He was like, I, I can't put it in my mouth, can I? So I had to, I had to put it for him, but it was the way he did it. He was like, come on, son, think. Um, and then so I had to tip it and tip his Doddy's dram in his mouth. But um, no, I mean, he's, he's, he was a massive influence in my, my career. It was great to look up to as a, when I wasn't a professional player as well. as like, aspired to be like a Doddy Weir or a Scott Murray, the lighter middle row for him. And certainly my position and certainly coming through the borders, Doddy was the, the main inspiration. So getting to work with him and be part of his life and being a mate that I, that I'm proud to be able to call Doddy a, a friend of mine. So he does always rip me though. So when he does his after dinner speaking, he always puts me on the spot and makes me get up uncomfortably many, many times and sing a song or do something. And the fact of the matter is I'm not that good a singer, but I always feel obliged to have to do it because Doddy puts the pressure on me. To see everything he's done, the fundraising, the, the, his attitude and the outliving with what the perceived life expectancy probably was on and he's still going strong. And so that, that pretty much for me sums him up as a whole, um, but no, he'll keep fighting, he'll keep, I watched that documentary on the BBC the other night about it, it was inspirational um, stuff, but I, I just think he'll, he'll keep fighting and he'll, he'll get there in the end. Um, but the thing is, he always does it with a smile on his face as well. Obviously, he'll get emotional from time to time and that, but he always does it with a smile on his face, he's always got the banter, he's always, so he'll take a head on and he'll, he'll be a challenge to be reckoned with. Without a doubt, he's one of the legends of Newcastle, Falcons Rugby Club and without a doubt a legend of Melrose Rugby Club so to bring the two together and mark the occasion as, as having a, a, a day for him really it would be a, a, it's a great spectacle and especially at the time of year it's at I think you'll get hopefully get a lot of fans in to cheer him on and enjoy the game but more importantly support Doddy and his foundation and everything it stands for so it's a, it's a massive day and a great occasion. That's the thing, you obviously got to look at it from a rugby perspective because he, he changed the game but then his journey since discovering this disease or having this disease um, has been inspirational really for many people, whatever, everybody goes through hardships and tough times and many people will know many other people with, with such diseases or illnesses or, but it's, for me it's inspirational to, to anyone really that, that this is how we can challenge it, this is how we can fight it and this, this is what you can do to, to step above it and, and make a mark and Doddy will always be a legend, certainly to me and to many other people, so it's, um, it's a mark of the bloke himself.